Now to the Israel-Hamas warrant today. The Justice Department announced charges against six senior leaders of Hamas. Federal prosecutors say they orchestrated the murders of dozens of Americans in the October 7th attack in Israel. Dick Brennan is here now with the details. Dick? Well, Christine and Maurice, in the indictment, U.S. officials say at least 43 American citizens were among the approximately 1,200 people killed in the October 7th terror attacks. But this indictment is sweeping, covering crimes that go back to the 19th 90s. Federal prosecutors say they're holding the masterminds of the October 7th attacks criminally responsible for the deaths of dozens of Americans. And now senior Hamas leaders are facing charges. For financing and directing a decades-long campaign to murder American citizens and endanger the security of the United States. This comes after word this weekend that Hamas executed six hostages, including Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Poland. His mother spoke at his funeral. For 23 years, I was privileged to have the most stunning honor to be Hirsch's mama. I'll take it and say thank you. I just wish it had been for longer. This case was filed in February, but it's unsealing now after the death of the six hostages is likely not a coincidence. This was a carefully timed complaint. Certainly, it came in conjunction with the horrible tragedy that took place this weekend, including the death, the murder of one American citizen. Legal expert David Schwartz says while some of the defendants are dead and others are abroad and in hiding, there are indications that at least one could still be taken in. As I read this complaint, and you have to read between the lines, I believe the Southern District is fairly confident they are going to bring at least one of these defendants to justice. In Israel tonight, thousands took to the streets demanding a ceasefire. And the family of 22-year-old Omar Nutra, an Israeli-American and Long Island native still being held, believes the protests could spur renewed action leading to the release of their son. We're just hoping that this outrage that we see in Israel is going to affect the government and Bibi Netanyahu himself to uh, to reach that so desired deal and get the hostages back. As we know, this is urgent. Legal experts say it's not clear if or when a case could be brought in New York. That would require one of the defendants being brought back to the U.S. to face trial. Christina Maurice. Thank you, Dick.